Hey, what's going on guys? This video, what we're gonna be discussing today is how to bypass the password if obviously you guys have forgotten it. Most likely you're watching this because you can't log on to your Windows computer because you forgot your password or you bought a computer off someone else, they forgot the password, or you found it dumpster diving in this case right here. Alienware computer, if you guys are interested in my videos, look in the description box below, Binsberg Films, you'll see I dumpster dive and I find computers all the time. So I wanna show you guys, cause I'm actually, I'm, I'm experiencing this right now myself and I wanna show you how to bypass the Windows 7. This should work on Windows 8 and 10 also and even maybe some older ones as well. We have my little explanation sheet right here. So I'm gonna go over the steps with you. So real quickly, the computer is on right now. What we're gonna do if your computer is on, you just need to shut it down and we're gonna start from scratch. So let's go ahead and power it down. Again, not restart. We're gonna go ahead and just shut the computer down. Once the computer has completely turned off, then we will go ahead and start with our first process. Okay, this is a very important step, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and power on your computer, okay? So we're gonna power on the computer, but right as we see the process, Microsoft Windows process circle go around meaning it's booting up, we're gonna go ahead and hold down our power button and then this is called like a hard shut off or a hard shut down, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here. We're gonna go ahead and power it up right now. We're gonna look at the screen here and right as we see this process bar here, let me get back out, we're gonna hold down the power button again to hard shut it off here. Just gonna take a second here, this Alienware computer takes a little bit of time. So not this right here. We're gonna wait until the Windows is firing up here. Wait one second, and right here, but we're gonna go ahead and wait till we see that right there. Now, we're gonna, I'm holding down the power button right now, and it should turn off like that, okay? So you're gonna have to hold it down for a while. All right, so we just did a hard shutdown right now, and now it's gonna fire back up again. If it doesn't automatically fire up like mine just did, then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and hit the power button here. So. Now what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna come up into a menu like this. Now upon starting, you will see this screen right here, Windows Error Recovery, Launch Startup Repair Recommended, Start Windows Normally. You wanna go ahead and click on Launch Startup Repair Recommended. You can push Enter on your keyboard. Now it's gonna load the files, Windows files here, and this next screen, of course, it's gonna go through its little normal startup here routine until we get to this menu right here. Your computer was unable to start and you'll go ahead and see a little searching menu here. Now a screen might pop up in the first few minutes of this and it says, do you wanna like restore automatically or something like that? Go ahead and push cancel because what you wanna do, it might pop up again, it might not. You want this to cycle through. It's gonna take me, the first time I did this, it took me about 10, 12 minutes. I expect the same thing, depends upon how slow your system is. Might be upwards of a little bit more than that. So we're gonna go ahead and let this cycle through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something else right now while we wait for this to go ahead and just cycle through its little deal and I'll be back with you for the next screen. All right guys, now after some time here, it was about maybe eight to 10 minutes for me, maybe even less than that. You're gonna see this screen right here, startup repair cannot repair this computer automatically. What you wanna do now is you wanna go ahead and come down here to view problem details, check that little triangle right here and this is gonna drop down right here. Now what you wanna do is come over here to the right, drop that all the way down and now what we wanna do here is we see two links, the very, very bottom one here, you wanna go ahead and click on that one, and then you'll see a large notepad file that opens up. Then what we wanna do is the top left up here of the notepad file, we wanna go ahead and highlight file, drop that down, and you wanna go ahead and click on open, which is the second one, and that brings up this menu right here, desktop, libraries, computer system, yours should look exactly like this or very similar. Okay, now right here, we're gonna go under computer, so double click on computer, and then what you wanna do is you wanna find your local disk. Now yours is gonna be probably different than mine. We have a CD drive, et cetera, et cetera, but what we want is the local disk. All right guys, now if you do not see local disk, then my option is the exact same as yours, Windows 7. So go ahead and double click on local disk if you see it. If not, if yours is like this, says Windows 7 C drive or something like that, go ahead and double click on that. That brings us to this menu here. Now we're gonna go ahead and scroll down right over here until we get over here to Windows. Double click on that folder option right there. Now it comes to this menu here. Now for this portion right here, what we wanna do is we wanna scroll down to System 32. 
But before we do that, we wanna go ahead and click on files of type and go ahead and choose all files here. Now what we're gonna do, again, we're gonna scroll down until we see system 32, which I went by it right here, system 32. Go ahead and double click on system 32, brings us to this menu right here. All right guys, now with this screen here, what you wanna do is there's a lot of files in here. Again, look at how small our little scroll wheel is here. But what you wanna do is you wanna just scroll down, get away from the files, the folder files, into what you start seeing things like this here. Now this is all alphabetical order, it should be. If not, you're gonna just scroll down again. I'm alphabetical orders. I'm just gonna go ahead and hard scroll all the way down to the S's. And what we're looking for, let me show you precisely, we're looking for set HC. So again, you wanna go alphabetical order, set HC right here. That's exactly the one we're looking for, set HC. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and click on it. So let me show you how to click on it here. So you're gonna click on it once, click on it twice, and then it's gonna highlight like that. Then what you wanna do is you wanna rename it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it just like that and we're gonna add just the letter. How about we'll add just seven to that. So now it's gonna be, literally, it's gonna be the name set HC7 or Seth C7, whatever you wanna call it there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard. Okay, now it's not highlighted anymore and it looks like that there, fantastic. So after we've done that, now what we wanna do is you wanna scroll back up and again, we're in alphabetical order and you wanna go up to the C section. Again, it's an application file and we're looking for CMD, okay? CMD, so we're gonna go up, 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 up. CMD, there it is right there. This one right there, CMD. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and copy CMD. So I'm gonna left click that, then right click it, and we're gonna copy it here. Then what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom, and right underneath the Z1 right here, you're gonna right click it, and we're gonna go ahead and paste that. So now this is a copy here. So what we wanna do now is we wanna rename this one as well. So what we're gonna do is once it's highlighted like this, we're gonna go ahead and rename it exactly like the other one was S-E-T-H-C, okay? The original one, not with the added seven on there. So it's gonna look exactly like this here, S-E-T-H-C. We're gonna go ahead and push enter here. Okay, fantastic. After I pushed enter, now it looks like that. So now what we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna go ahead and X off of this, X out of this, and what we see here, we're gonna go ahead and click that back up right there. And we don't wanna send the report. And we're gonna go ahead and push finish here. Finish there. After you push finish your computer, go ahead and it shuts off. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and power it back up. And we'll let that boot back up there for just a second. Back at the startup menu here. Now what we wanna do is the files that we switched over, we switched over from sticky keys. Now we actually are gonna be able to do command prompt. So. From this menu right here, come down to your keyboard, and what we're gonna do here, guys, on the keyboard is right here, shift. You're gonna hit that five times, and then the command prompt will pop up right here. So let's go ahead and hit it five times. One, two, three, four, five. And that pops up right there, command prompt, Seth C, E, X, E, or S, E, T, H, C, E, X, E. And now what we do here, we're gonna go ahead and type in right after Windows System 32. Okay guys, so right after System 32 right here, you can go ahead, if you already know the user you wanna get into, you can go ahead and put that after net user, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put net user right after System 32. Let's go ahead and spell it out right here, N-E-T space U-S-E-R, and we're gonna hit enter, but let me show you exactly what it looks like here. Again, right after there, net user, now we're gonna push enter here. Okay, there are a couple users under this system. And so administrator, you can go ahead and get into that one or that one. Again, yours will list out every single user that it has. The command completed with one or more errors, okay? Right here. So what we wanna do is we wanna then choose net user and whatever name you wanna get at. You can do this a couple times if you need to get through and delete all the passwords or change the passwords for everyone. Let's go ahead and choose Cole for right now. What we're gonna do now, that that fresh system command right there is underway. We're gonna go ahead and do again net space user space C O L E. So guys, right after Cole, go ahead and hit the space bar. I already have, so you want a space after Cole. 
or your name, and then we need to put star, okay? Star, which is gonna be the eight, and so shift, we want that star symbol there. So that is what you want it to look like there. Net user, your name, whatever administrative one name you have, and then it's star symbol, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and push enter here. Now it says right here, type a password for the user, okay? Now whatever I type on the keyboard right here, it will not show up right here. So you will be typing it, but it will not show up, okay? Because it's like for security, right? So I can type out like a bunch of letters, but nothing will happen here. And then it will ask me to confirm, that's if you wanna type a new password in for the user. All right guys, now if you do not wanna use a password, you wanna leave it blank so that every time you sign on, you don't even have to input a password, then you just just leave it blank and you push enter. So let's go ahead and just leave it blank and we're gonna push enter. And then it says retype the password to confirm and we're gonna go ahead and hit enter one more time. And that's just gonna go ahead and the command completed successfully right here. Again, now I have no password on there, but of course if you wanted one, you would input it, confirm it, and then it would say, you know, successfully. Okay, now after this right here, we're gonna go ahead and type out exit E-X-I-T, and go ahead and push enter here. That removes the command prompt screen, and now we see Cole right here. And now what we're gonna do is because there is no password, we're just gonna go ahead and hit this arrow and we're gonna go ahead and log on right there. And it says welcome, and this might take a second to boot on up, but we'll show you that there is no password needed because we went backdoor on Windows 7. There we go, absolutely fantastic guys. Can't open ACPIATK01 kernel mobile driver. No idea what that is, but we are in. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. You have to install AKT driver. Oh, you know what that is? That is uh, my new graphics card that I put in this computer. So don't worry about that guys. Your computer is probably not gonna say that because I did put a new graphics card in there. All right, let's just get rid of all that. I do need to install the driver for the computer for that to work. But guys, that is it. Now I'm in and whatever this guy had on the computer, I now have access to. And so guys, this is a lesson to be learned. Again, I am gonna delete anything that shouldn't be on here or inappropriate or anything like that, but I did again find this computer. Dumpster diving, hard drive came separately, but I'm just showing you guys how to get in. If you find it or buy one and they forgot to tell you or they forgot the password, you bought it on eBay, et cetera, hopefully this video has helped you guys. Mash a thumbs up if it did, and I really appreciate that. And definitely leave any questions or comments below. Myself or others will help you through it. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.